It is April. Hello, everybody. We have a big harvest to do today. We got two big fields to get done. We got Brandon helping put some lime down on that field out there. You can see it in the distance. We need to get super busy here. These two fields are huge. I got a lot of work ahead of me. Let's get this harvest going. First time on this field. This is our newest addition to the family here, to the farm. Getting 179 bushels per acre right now. Yellow yield, not the best, but we know the soil type wasn't the best around here for us. Cruise around here. This should be a pretty good harvest here. This is this is our biggest field. Then we got our other big field way behind us that we got to we got to harvest some sorghum in too. Wish I had a little bit more money, maybe get a combine that had a bigger uh, capacity and a, maybe a bigger auger as well. Let's bust this out. Got a lot farther into this. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. easy there, buddy. Got a lot farther into this uh, harvest than I thought we would with that first load there. Let's uh, find the truck here. We're going to get this loaded up first. So we're going to take a bunch of this to the chicken coop today. And get that fully populated as much as we can with these two fields. And we, when we planted them, we talked about this was really the reason why the feed crisis is gone. Brandon doing good work there. It's like we got some tree issues here. We'll loop around and get this all unloaded. The headers, yeah, just a little too big for this implement or this combine here. That'll work. A little excitement going on in the farming simulator world. I think we had an announcement this week when this episode comes out. It should be completely out there. You know, we're not jumping to conclusions. I am uh, recording this early, but I think it's FS25. So I guess I did jump to conclusions. So We'll see if I was right. I mean, I'm sure it's it's leaked a little bit. It's out there. We'll see some real information on it. And as this is, you know, like I said, this will be released already by the time that that information goes live, which I believe is on the 25th. Pretty exciting times. We'll be releasing a little bit of a plan after. Well, let's get into it right now. Let's talk about it. I, I'm taking off the first two weeks of July. We're actually not going to have a lot of episodes for the first time on the channel when I do take that time off. And I'm excited about that. It's the first time that we're gonna take a real break on the channel. Both all, both of my channels, you know, the, the sports channel has been pretty active as well. But we're gonna take a break on that channel as well as this channel for two weeks. And work, got family in town. After that, we're gonna be setting up a schedule of what the plan is the rest of the way through Farming Simulator 22. And I've been hinting at this for a while. I'm going to get it finalized probably during my break. I'll spend some time with doing some planning. That'll be probably all I do. Respond to some comments. But yeah, it's exciting times for me. It's, it'll be the first time I've been around the farming simulator scene when a new game came out. It'll be very interesting to follow the process and learn all the new features. I'm hoping it's I'm hoping there's some cool stuff. I'm sure we all are. Let's get this harvest done, though. Ooh, we got some chicken meat. That's nice. Come over here and drop off the sorghum to begin with, and then we'll get back to the harvest, but wanted to make sure we're dropping stuff off here. Get this empty. We'll pick up the gravity wagon on our way back. Let's check the production here. Let's see. Yeah, 13,000. I'm going to put pretty much most of this sorghum in there. And we're keeping the male chickens this time around because we need all the chickens possible to to fill this up and another coop would be nice. I think this episode we will take a look at those settings and see if we can shut off reproduction and overcrowding and everything so it stops reproducing and just uh, feel like we're gonna lose the chickens we need to get older. So we'll take a look at that today, if I remember. <laughs> all right, got this all hooked up. And apparently there's a setting I can change where we go tip back or tip left. We'll try those out to get this one to unload faster where it opens up both of the doors instead of just the one. But let's get this unloaded. We'll get it completely unloaded this time and continue on the harvest. All right, back at it here. Got that all unloaded. We'll drop off more of that as it fills up. Second time around the headland here. We got the liming done. So we'll get that replanted today. I got to figure out exactly what I want to plant in these three fields we're going to have at our disposal to, to flip here. I haven't done as good of a job this time flipping these fields as we did last year. So we're probably going to run into a couple months where we just don't have any harvest or anything to do, which is fine. You know, farmers always need some time off. Not playing with seasonal growth causes us to be a little more busy than 
like we would be in real life. I think we might be able to take care of this whole back area too, right here. Just get it out of the way. Oh, this is a cool field. I love fields this design. I'm sure I talked about that a lot when we created it. All right. Let's do a little time lapse for you. Enjoy. All right, here's our first load here. We'll see if this tips faster now. Let's turn this way. Look, they both open. Look at that beautiful comment there. Oh, that's so much better. We are going to drop this off and then go drop, drop the, we're, we're, we're going to disconnect from the gravity wagon and take the truck over and drop off the food for the chickens. That's what I was trying to say. And then we'll come back and get it. Pretty good harvest so far. We've got two trucks full and the combine is full right now and the gravity wagon. Lots of bushels, lots of bushels. All right, let's head out over, drop this off for the chickens. Backing up here, that'll do it. And let's see, they should be yeah, 16,000. I might get to the point where I just fill this thing up today. Eggs are almost full, is that what that means? Okay, let's just move one like that, just in case. All right, let's go get the gravity wagon, get this harvest done. And then in between the two harvests, I think we'll take a break. We'll plant that field. We'll sell some things. Got to mix up that farm work, right? You can see how much is left there. Not too much, so pretty good harvest. The other field will be even more than enough. And I'm hoping to get these fields back on a good uh, cycle here where we're harvesting one a month. We got this one to harvest. That one will be next month. So we could plant this month, harvest next month, plant next month, harvest next. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We're gonna mix it up though. And let's get back at it for the rest of this harvest here. Not too much to do, like we said. Then we'll take a little bit of break from harvesting. And all done with the harvest. We'll get this unloaded and prepped in the other area for the next harvest. But like I said, we're gonna get some other things done around the farm just to mix it up. Mix it up for me. And the content too, right? All right, so we gotta pull forward and back in. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta solve this. We might look in the market for other things here. While that's unloading, I'm gonna go ahead and drive this in and put it away. Bobby did, Bobby. It's not Bobby, that's a different series. Brandon did a great job. Oh, Whiskey RP. Man, what about Whiskey RP 25? That would be fun. We'll have to wait for some mods to be available to us, but you know it's coming. All right, that's put away. We'll go ahead and hook up to the seeds and then we'll switch back and finish putting that those crops away. Putting those that grain away. Oh, that's the wrong side. All right, we'll do this first. We'll drop off the gravity wagon again, just like we just did. And then we'll take the truck over to the chickens. It'll be a lot quicker this time. A lot less grain there. But let's see what we have in the silo now. That would be nice to know. We got over a thousand bushels. It'll be about 1,300 when it's done. Uh, 1,100. So we got 200 in the other thing. And then that's it. Okay. Good to know. But you know, 1100 bushels should go a long ways. Plenty of time to get these other fields harvested and not gonna be able to sell any of this grain, but it's producing a lot of money for us between the chickens and the meat now. That's what this was all about, chicken empire. All right, get that unloaded. And that should put that in a real nice spot. I think that's the first time we've seen yellow over here. I imagine we can get about at least another thousand bushels over here in this harvest. Oh, we almost killed that plant that bush there. All right, let's put that there. That's good. 
We'll wander on over to the John Deere now. And let's look at what we have planted. Just harvested sorghum, and we have more to, to harvest. And then we have wheat that doesn't exist. We have some canola up here, which is for sale. Because I don't think we can use that, so we'll be selling that. Uh, no oats right now, and we have barley going. So let's do over here, we will do some more sorghum. We'll get some sorghum going, and then in the two big fields, we'll probably do wheat. Okay. Now, we're going to find out if I remember how to use these planters and extend this other one. So I think we go back to this one. Yeah, we go like that. And then once we get past that field, I will go ahead and lower both and activate both. Or they don't get activated. These ones, these ones you just lower, right? So there we go, getting some sorghum in the ground. We'll go a little bit and then we'll double check that we are doing the same crop type on both of these planters. That's good enough. And yeah, looks like we're good. All right. Time to just cruise along here. Getting that fertilizer down and seed. Get a little bit back there so I can see it better. Try not to run into these trees. What a setup. This is sweet. Probably my favorite setup in the old school style planters here. And having both of them. Be cool to get a third one too. That's big time. Having three. All right, let's get some planning done. Oh, didn't go sharper. Didn't go wide enough on that turn. Ooh, I'm actually surprised we didn't run out of product here. We didn't have to refill. Pretty good little planting session. Should be all done here now. Now, can I bring this in this way? I can, nice, with my joystick. Beautiful, let's raise both of these. We're all set here. And now it's time to sell some things. We'll sell some strawberries, some eggs, and the meat. We'll see how we're doing there. We'll get this put away. Um, I think we'll keep it close to the next field we're going to plant. So we'll just keep it right here in the grass. It'll be the one to the right that we do next. We'll detach that in case we use it for other things. Well, let's go ahead and get the truck set up with the trailer to load up some strawberries first, and then we'll get the eggs. And then we'll check on the chickens, because I don't think there's any that we want to move yet, but there might be. We're getting close to 100 bushels on this run. That's pretty awesome. Let's see what our total is here. 99.2. Get these sold real quick, and then we'll go get the eggs. Pretty good. I think, like, really the only thing else I want to do in this playthrough is to get enough money to build a nice house. So we'll be pushing hard to get a good amount of money for that. And you know my style. We'll probably do that in the finale of year three. Um, Can we sell here? Hello? The icon just didn't pop up. There we go. Just over $3,000. We're at 20 grand again. We'll go get the eggs next, and then we'll do the meat after that. We'll have to load those on the flatbed. I will use the little red one, I think. That should be fine. We won't have to reconfigure the grain truck. We'll go ahead and get the, the eggs moved out of here and on to the next thing. I guess we could see. I don't think the meat's going to work in this trailer. We'll, we'll try, though. But I'll get the eggs all loaded here next. All right, a little over eight. A thousand eggs. Gonna head to the supermarket and get these sold. All right, here we are. Be a couple, like 20 grand here, I think. 33 plus 2,700. We're at 56,000. Okay. Business is booming. We'll go try the meat with this, but I don't think it's gonna work. You never know. I just don't think it's a product type that is compatible with this trailer. All right, moment of truth here. And I don't think it's gonna work, but we'll try. It is gonna work. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what happened with the display there, but we'll go see what happens when we sell these. Okay, 1,000 pieces of chicken, but there should be also the minced meat. There should be 2,000 pieces of that. Uh, we might have lost those with the trailer there. We'll see. It should be like 20 grand right here, I think, if not a little bit more. See what happens. 12,000. Yeah, we lost some goods there. We will not do that next time. Live and learn. All right, I think that's all we're going to do in April. We're going to make it May and... You know, kind of rinse and repeat exactly what we just did. We're going to start with the harvest. We'll also get Brandon working on some some lime for us and uh, then plant something. All righty, let's take a nap. Okay, let's go ahead and grab the John Deere. Should be over here and get the spreader back out. And we'll do this field here with lime. But we're sitting at $66,000 now. We did have some sold animals. We'll check that before the end of the episode to see if there's more to move over to the meat factory. Slaughterhouse, the butcher shop. 
whatever you want to call it. And should be able to generate a course here. It should just be, should be just fine. All right, away Brandon goes. Best of luck, bud. And we're going to get started right on this sorghum harvest. Uh, we want to go eight miles an hour is what I want to do. There we go. All right, so we had 160 or about 180 bushels an acre in the last one. It looks like about the same here. A little bit smaller of a field, I believe. So we'll keep cruising here and get that done. I'll let you know. You know, typically what we do is we'll get around the headland and see when it's full and give you a fun little update then. Looks like we did get the whole headland here pretty much exactly 100%. Look at that. Pretty awesome. All right, let's get the grain cart over... The grain truck over to pick up the gravity wagon. Looks like they're making good progress with lime out there. Good job, Brandon. Look at all of those strawberries. Beautiful. Just sneak up here, get this unloaded. You know, it's kind of sad. Let's look at this here. I've been looking at this information and our yield everywhere. Like we have one area that's green and the rest are just terrible yields. That's soil. That's soil. <laughs> oh, where's the yield information? There's the yield information. Everything. Yeah, that's what I thought. Everything's yellow here. Just not sure why. I mean, soil type here. Yeah, mostly salt. Oh, the clay. That's that's right. All right. Back at it. Second headland here. Keep on cruising. Dropping off the first bit of sorghum here from today's harvest. A little over 600 bushels going into the silo. We're gonna, just going to put it in there to today just to be safe. You know, we don't need to drive it over. It'll be quicker this way. The field to our right is all done with lime. I don't know where the tractor ended up finishing. There it is. Good job, Brandon. We'll get that planted with some wheat here after the harvest. Man, we got plenty of product. Yeah, in June, we'll, we'll harvest the, the barley, I believe, that is in the southwest field. We won't, we won't deal with that today. Trying to get it back to where... We have one field per month. All right, let's finish this harvest. Man, fun day here in old school. And that will conclude the great sorghum harvest of year three. Another 200 bushels here. We'll get this shut off. I think it'll fit in the gravity wagon. If not, we'll we'll have to unload the rest in the in the in the silo in the bin ourselves. Go ahead and get it unloaded here, though. Let's check on the chickens. See how much food they have. How are they eating that much? My goodness, okay, we will be refilling them as well. Maybe we don't have enough food. Freaking hungry chickens. There's 2,000 of them, so I mean, it makes sense. It did fill it up all the way. We'll take this straight to the grain cart. That's not a grain cart, Chris. Get your words right. We'll take this straight to the silo, and then we're going to take it over to the wash bay because it looks disgusting. There we go. Get this last 50 bushels in here. And then we'll get the cart moving around and get some more feed for the chickens. All right, we got it all washed and prepped for the next harvest. We're going to leave it right there for June. Let's go ahead and run over and get the grain cart and the grain truck and get this all finished. Best comment ever letting me know about the double pouring here or unloading. Beautiful. Then we brought five loads over here. That should put us over 40,000 liters. Ah, 38,000. That's good. Well, we got a little bit of money spent on seed. And away we go to planting here. Cruising a little fast here, because that's how I like to do it. Let's get far enough over so we are using both of the planters, though. And get some wheat in the ground here. Got to keep these fields flipped. This should do it here. Oh, just a little spot missed to get the rest of the wheat planted there. Got a little weird spots in the map. We're not going to worry about that. We know we've been having strange issues with this map so all set that's all we're gonna do this episode next episode we will definitely that's that's not what i meant to do there <laughs> we'll get to weeding these two fields and flipping the one directly in front of us and we have a another wheat harvest i believe in june so we'll get june and july going next episode thanks for hanging out i'm socks way up i'll catch you on the next one